Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and while you're at it, click the bell to be notified of future videos. This 10 inch block is called Blue Jay because it's a blue jay with some leaves. Here's the diagram. Here are a circle of blue jays. They're going around in a circle and it makes this cute design in the middle. And here are the blue jays with sashing. We have three patches. Patch A is a two inch finished half square triangle. Cut two and seven eighth inch squares and cut them in half on the diagonal once and you'll get two patches. For the background you'll need 13 patches. For the dark blue you'll need six patches. For the leaves you need seven and for the light blue you'll need one patch. For AccuQuilt, here are the dies that will cut the patches and you will be cutting and stitching patches when you use AccuQuilt. Your second alternative is to make half square triangles two at a time. And in this case, we'll just cut the squares to this size, two and seven eighths, but don't subcut them. If you are making half square triangles two at a time, for the background, you'll need three patches plus five squares. And for the dark blue, you'll need two patches plus two squares. For the green, you'll need one patch plus three squares. And you'll have to cut one patch for the blue. And I'll show you why that happens is because, say, like here, we only have one of this color, the light blue in the background, half square triangle. So we'll need a light blue patch and a background patch to stitch that one. And the same thing over here for these dark blue and background half square triangles. There are two here, so you'll use one square for that. And there's two over here, you'll use another square for that. Then for this unit, the split quarter square triangle, you'll need a one patch for here and one patch for here. And you'll see that as we put the block together. For patch B is a two inch finished square. We cut two and a half inch squares. You'll need six patches of the background, one patch of the dark blue, and three patches of the light blue. Here are the AccuQuilt dies to cut this patch. For the C patch, it is a quarter square triangle that's two inch finished. We cut three and one quarter inch squares, cut them in half diagonally twice, and you'll get four patches. For the background, we only need three patches, so we'll still have to cut the square, but we'll only use three patches. For the black, the light blue, and the dark blue, each of those we only need one patch. You still have to cut a three and a quarter inch square for each one and cut them in half diagonally twice, but you'll only use one patch. Piece this, we're going to first piece the half square triangles, then we'll piece the split quarter square triangles and put the block together. Here are the fabrics. For the green fabric, I have three squares plus one patch. For the dark blue, I have two squares plus two patches. The light blue, I have one patch. For the background, I have five squares plus three patches. For the patch B, which is the squares, we have the background squares, the light blue, and the dark blue squares. And then patch C are the quarter square triangles. And I have one of each of the light blue, dark blue, and black, and three of the background. For step one, we'll make the half square triangles. The first one is the light blue and the background, and we just need one of those. So we'll take the light blue half square triangle patch and then one of the background half square triangle patches. Sew these together. Press the seams. For the dark blue and background, we need to make four. Make these using the squares. Take two squares of the dark blue and two squares of the background. Put these together and these together and each one will make two half square triangles. If you're not familiar with this method, there'll be a short tutorial after this. For the last half square triangle is the green and the background and we need seven. Take three of the green squares and three of the background squares, put those together, 
These will be two, four, six half square triangles. Take a background and the green patch and we'll make our seventh half square triangle. On the back side of the light fabric, draw a diagonal line. Put the fabrics right sides together. Stitch on either side of the diagonal line. Here is the diagonal line drawn and then the stitching on both sides. Cut this in half along the diagonal line. Then we have our two half square triangles. Press the seams open and cut off the nubs. Up here I have the half square triangles we finished and I'm going to move the squares up here out of the way. What we have left are the three half square triangle patches and we have the six quarter square triangle patches. Step two shows us three different split quarter square triangles. First, we sew the C patches together. Here is a dark blue and a background patch. We'll take a dark blue and the background C patches. And I like to make them exactly how the picture is because I always get confused. The dark C patch is like this and the background is like this. Here is a, the point of the triangle. There is a triangle. Flip these over and stitch those together on this edge. The second one is the black which is facing like this and the background which is facing like this if we look at this picture. Flip this over and stitch this edge. And finally, the last one has the medium, the light blue fabric like this and the background fabric like this. Flip this over and stitch along this edge. The C patches are pieced together. Now I'll look at the diagram again. This one with the dark will go like this. And then we'll add a dark patch A, the half square triangle, like that. The, the C patches are like this and we add the patch A like that. Fold it over line up all three edges and stitch along the long side. The second one is the black fabric and the C. Let's see if I did this right. There, like this. And then we put an A patch like this. Flip it over, match all three sides and stitch the long edge. And finally this last one which I did do wrong. No, I didn't. Here it is. The last one is like this, and then we put the A patch like that. Flip it over, match all three sides, and stitch the long edge, and press all three. These are the split quarter square triangles finished. And be sure to cut off your nubs. All that's left to do now is to put the block together. I've got my trusty profit board and all my pieces. I'll just look at the diagram and we'll lay out all the pieces. And there's our little blue jay. I'll start with the top row and sew all these units together into a row and then just continue down do row two, three, four, and five. Then press your seams and sew all your rows together to finish the block. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and while you're at it, click the bell to be notified of future videos.